some time back, my wife and I went to uh, central north, eh, central Wisconsin to deliver uh, real life story testimony books, Sons and Jesus, Dread It Flyers. Uh, we attended a family reunion over there while we were there. And uh, where that family reunion was held was at a great uh, 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 little lake, the semi private. Uh, it was clean, had a nice beach area, a nice picnic area. We had our family reunion there in the day. And she and I decided that we would stay there a few more days, extend our stay there, um, which we did. And we were there on a Sunday where a lot of people were at the beach that day. And um, I was lying uh, on a blanket. I had swam some out with my water floated around and I was just laying, taking it easy, kind of snoozing off and on on a blanket. And it was getting later in the afternoon. I'd been there soaking up sun for our, too long and she was out floating on a floaty out there and enjoying herself out on the lake. And so it was getting early evening, five-ish, 5.30 or so. A lot of people started leaving because it was time for them to go barbecue grill, eat out, whatever. And uh, so people were leaving, and I told my wife, hey, honey, come in, it's time for us to go, and I grabbed a handful of stuff. So I start walking up to my car to take a load to my car. Now, I'm I'm in my swimsuit, and I'm in a tank top, and got sandals on, you know, dressed for summer, hot summer. And uh, uh, we're about, oh, 50, 60, 70 yards up a little hill in the park area up to a parking lot that was flat up top. That's where everybody parked and had to walk down over the hill a little bit to get into the park area. And so I'm walking up that way and there was this lady. She, I, This lady was over, you know, a ways and, and I'd seen her and her husband and some other people there through the day. I didn't think anything of them. And so her husband, she was calling for her husband to come in off of uh, uh, an air mattress off the lake and time for them to go. And so she's got uh, some stuff that she's about ready to take up to a car. Well, she sees me starting to walk up toward my car to the parking area. And she walks directly up to me, slowly up to me. And she says to me, lady of about 50, maybe 55 roughly, she says to me, I kid you not, here's the first thing she says to me. Are you Jesus? Just as innocent as could be, are you Jesus? And I'm thinking, is she drunk? Is she spaced out on drugs? Is she, you know, mentally uh, retarded a little or something? I mean, am I Jesus? <laughs> well, what could I say but be truthful, right? And, uh, yeah, the temptation came to say, well, I'll tell you what, I'll go try to walk on water, but I think probably you're going to have to rescue me. Now, nah, that wasn't the thing to say. So let's, you know, let's, let's be civil, I'm thinking. So this is all going on in a split second in my mind. I haven't answered it yet. So my answer was, no, ma'am, I'm, I'm not Jesus. Why would you ask? And she said, well, she says, I've been down here all day here in this park and when we pulled in and parked our car we pulled up to a car that had a Jesus license plate on it and I thought wow somebody is so courageous for their Lord somebody's so uh, unfearful and courageous to advertise my Lord and Savior, I just, you know, I hadn't seen anybody do that. I've never seen anybody with a license plate on like that. And I thought, boy, would I love to meet this person. So I've been laying down here all day wondering with all the people, who in the world could own that car? Who could be the one behind that license plate? So most people are gone now, as you see. And so well, I'm about ready to go too. But then you start walking up there and I look and, and you're walking with some sandals on. So I thought, well, maybe you're the one with the car that's got the Jesus license plate on. I said, yeah, I am. And uh, I didn't ask her why she asked me that question the way she asked me. Are you Jesus? <laughs> I don't know if it was a setup from the Holy Spirit. 
I don't know. I to this day I would have loved to know why did she ask the question that way. Anyway, beside the point. God only knows. Um, but she wanted to know a little bit about us, and I said, "Well, tell you what, you know, you've got to go." Her husband by that time said, "Come on, come on, come on. You want me to go? Let's go." And she said, "I got to run." She said, "I sure wish I could learn some more about you." I said, "Well, I'll tell you what. I got a testimony book up in the car." And it's got my testimony and my wife's testimony in there. You're welcome to read that if you want. Oh, I would love to. She said, wow, what's it about? So I told her, you know, book of testimonies and non-denominational book of testimonies of how Jesus had, has worked in people's lives, you know, and come through for them and how they just want to tell the whole world what Jesus did for them and showing their appreciation for him, what he did and, and, uh, and, put their testimony out there for God to use as he wanted to use, you know. And uh, so she ended up taking a number of those copies of books and put them wherever the Lord led her and and often wondered, you know, where she went. But I just, it's this is one of the many things that have happened that we have had that Jesus license plate uh, do. And we took that, we sold that car, gave that car away or sold it cheap. Um, and I took that license plates off and since have put it on my bicycle as you have seen it now if you've seen some of the recent video clips. So that's, that's, uh, that's another Jesus story. Well, my friends, I just want to say that uh, if you haven't really given it much thought, people are really busy in the summer trying to cram in some family time and recreation time before winter comes on, and I know a lot of people have taking the time to watch these video clips now maybe you know in the months ahead they'll be able to find them but we just want to encourage you to uh, continue to pray for us uh, the devil whacks on my wife and I a lot uh, trust me and uh, we appreciate your prayers if nothing else but pray too that God will get these precious testimony real life story testimony books into the hands of people across America and around the world. They are the most uh, effective witnessing resource that I have ever found, as many others have found as well. And, um, you know, Jim Barbarossa, the brother who put this all together and continues to publish these as long as he can, while he can, uh, is looking for people to put their testimonies in a future Real Life Story testimony book. So consider that. Get one of these testimony books. Look at it. Look at how he puts it together. Pray about letting God use your testimony to be impacting the lives of people long after you're in heaven. None of us know how God will use our testimonies, giving Jesus glory and appreciation um, long after we've gone to heaven.